Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset and welcome to XCOM Enemy Unknown. For those of you who don't know, this is a real time, no not real time, turn based tactical game where you're playing an agency dedicated to protecting humanity from alien incursion. Oh look, explosions, critters, aliens. Those are the guys we're going to be hunting and killing for fun, for profit, for the defense of humanity. Start new play, single player. We're playing on... We're going to play on normal. I'm going to see the second wave. Advanced options. Uh, enable tutorial. Yep, I would like that because I'm new to the game. I don't want Iron Man on because I will occasionally be able to save and go back a bit. Except, unguided satellites are a high risk of being shot down. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Arthur C. Clarke. Nice quote. Hey, yep, trouble. Well, this is clearly not going to end well. Silly humans getting up and close to what's clearly a crashed pod. So this is the immediate problem you get with this thing. How do you react when this kind of stuff happens? Do you be cautious and run away? Do you be inquisitive? Do you assume that they're peaceful? Or do you stick to do the best you can, which is, you know, leave your lives? Because here come the enemy. And they're not friendly. Nothing good will come of this. So we've got green sparkly things. They're apparently grabbing and snaring humans. And pleasant mist, some pleasant debris. Some other CCTV camera. Pegado Confido. What that means? It's Hello, a man. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. I will do, man, who is badly backlit. Want to start? Good luck, Commander. I think I'm probably going to need it. I've not played any game like this at all. Well, uh, no, a little bit. I have played a fair chunk of Fire Emblem and a few other bits and pieces. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. Operation Devil's you Moon. You were being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hours Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. So, the operation name, I have attempted to tinker with the text file so we might get some variations on these devil's moon seems moon vaguely normal so we'll see if it's actually accepted any of the text changes i put in central this is big sky looks like we found the crash site roger voodoo three one any sign of activity negative nothing's moving down there okay set her down nearby oh that's pretty i like the ship moon the Devil's Moon. Let's see how far we can get on our first double mission. I 
wouldn't want to salt the wings away. I'd be very interested in leaving this is a hot zone and getting out as quickly as I possibly could. Hello, team. One of them's got quite the alarming moustache. A moustache and a mohawk. These are my intrepid rookies who I will be customizing and playing Central. with. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Ooh. Click the mouse to set the highlight position to move this up. So that's the soldier. Then we move him back to there. All right. So that must mean he's got partial cover. That right click to make him actually do it. Fair enough. Move up to twice the number of remaining moves indicated on the soldier's unit flag. Good. James now left. advance to the vehicle nearby. Go over there, James Long. Delta 2, your turn. Move up to the debris. Ivan Ramirez. Holding right click will show you. all the possible places we can go to it's a full extended range okay let's go and send him there as I've been instructed to by the is going to offer you much cover but it's better than nothing there's full cover straight ahead advance to that position okay that's what the full shield means fair enough Delta 3 move to that vehicle dead ahead over there. central I have movement 30 meters north of my position police vehicle Roger proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point Okay, range you go. Delta 4, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. Okay, so that's that. It comes with the signal dash. The yellow line is dashing, so that means it's going to work in the entire movement zone. Alright, go. I wonder how I rotate the camera. There. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta 4? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Something what? Is that your man, Delta 4? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Okay, assume both moves. Right, so staying in cover, and hopefully assume that my team gets shot less. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. This is gonna end really badly. I really wouldn't get close Talk to that. Me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. It's a drop pod. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. We're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. Okay, move up to there. Tutorial, tutorial. In position. Like to Looks tutorial. clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Nice, let's 
Uh, okay. This is not letting me switch between. Me and Yay! Window smashing. That's Delta how two. all adventurers Dead get in there. Doors in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. Okay, he's telling me just to move there by dashing. I'm assuming we're going to get an almighty cutscene as he goes through the door. Yay! Kicking. Hiding behind a forklift. Forklifts aren't the best idea in the world because they typically have gas. You can see actually, you can see the gas fuel tank. Was moved up. And there's a dude with a grenade. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy yeah. Delta 3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby. But do not approach. Yeah, things aren't gonna go well. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. <laughs> nice. He appears to be in shock. James Long. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, I don't blame you. We keep us dashing forward a fair bit. Ivan Ramirez. Oh, I think that's Argentina is his badge on the back. Harumi Akura, I think that's a Japanese tag on her back. Delta 3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. Sergei Sidorov. Well, sorry, Sergei, but apparently the tutorials decided that you're going to get very up close and personal with a man who is mentally ill and holding a grenade. Can't see his eyes, is never a good sign. Tip the light toward him first. He's down! Delta One is down! Central! Protecting fire for multiple x-rays! This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire! Damn it! Delta Two, your flank too. Find some better cover. Alright, so it's telling me to bug out over to here. Alright, Delta Two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Press enter to activate it. Okay, yeah, so that's. We need to select fire by pressing X. These are the only targets I've got. Overwatch. So we've got fire, overwatch, frag grenade, anchor down, double cover bonuses, frag grenade, overwatch, right, shoot at anyone who move, fire, and we'll just use the assault rifle. Right Press enter to fire. Toast him! Oh, got rid of that one then. Nice shot. Delta 4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Alright, so he's recommend I move up to here. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Grenade, that one. Frag grenade, make sure the line of fire doesn't destroy our allies' corpse, because, you know... Good, two for now two. Now get ready for their counterattack. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. So flanking obviously giving you some kind of tactical bonus. So apparently we can move up to here as recommended. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Okay. Fire. Enter. Fire. Shoot. Mostly scripted at this point, I suspect. Central. I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Oh, that was messy.
the north and there. Alright, so we're picking where our base exists, because apparently beforehand we're just kind of floating around a little bit. North America... Cheaper to, aircraft and weapons, cheaper to cost. Europe. Lab and workshops are less to maintain. Asia. Projects and family offices were cheaper. South America. Witness and autopsies. Africa. More just flat out more funding. I am kind of tempted to go for the African one and just having the all and. Yeah. The extra money I think is just going to be very useful. Oh, apparently I can't pick that one. Oh. Didn't tell me why. Fine. I'll have the reduced Affirmative. Tags. We are coming home. Well, one of you is coming home. I think it had slightly less what wobbly cameras. Are they? Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Doesn't look good. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, Doctor. Apparently one of the things they do is make things blurry. Oh, Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Hello. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Hello, Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Okay. Zooming out. Bye bye, Central Officer Bradford. Okay, so this is our XCOM base. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Alright, so that's moved by itself. No, no, no. Can't zoom out. Can't pan. Okay, I'm assuming it'll tell me the buttons later. Barracks. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. You soldiers. Only Just one you. recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Interesting they said that they're elite soldiers and now he's now he's not now he is no longer a recruit. As Abilities. you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. Rocket launcher. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher, in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Well, yeah, there'll be mostly the explosions. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It, it sounded, sounded important. important. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Hello, Dr. Valen. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. Nice we have terminals. already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Hopefully those are With your die approval, less. we will begin research immediately. Okay, let's have a look-see. What have you got for me? Alright. Insufficient corpses for that one. Alien materials. Bits of weapon fragments. Better armor, weapon fragments. Um, I want armor. It's the nature of how I play is defensively. Alright, do I have to pick this one? Okay. Fine. That Thank one. you, Commander. This research will take some time. Done. We will notify you once it is complete. Thank you very much. It sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to Mission Control. 
Commander to Mission Control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. Mm, unfair. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Quite loud clanking on the floor plates. Alien abductions. View the alien abductions. So we can go to Kansas City or Hong Kong. Um, I'm going to go to reward four scientists, reward cash. Hmm. I think actually I'm going to go double down on the longer term one and go for uh, scientists because research breeds more research. So do Kansas, because apparently that's where we'll find scientists. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Hangar? We've got a hangar. Before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. All right, fair enough. So if we get more officers, then we can actually send more out. Fair enough. Zuri Madasai. He's a rookie. Hawkins. Customize the name and appearance. Great Hawkins of the United States. Yeah, it's a shame I can't, um... A career. Which is a rookie element, mean, that's all locked out. Load out. Basic body armor, basic gear. Yeah, because they all just have rookies. Customize it a little bit. It's a shame I can't tell. Um... Not immediately telling me how I should flick and change in and out of which which soldier. I'd like to change the team up a little bit and see whether I've got my roster, but apparently I'm, this is the team I'm taking out. Alright, thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. This has been the very beginning of XCOM Enemy Unknown. In the next episode we'll be taking this group of diverse people from all over the world out to Kansas City to rescue some scientists from alien abductions. I have been the Marmoset. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.